is it going in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? It's the only thing I play. I don't play anything else right now. I'm closing in on 70 hours into the game. Uh, by the time I edit and upload this video, I'm probably up in 100. Probably. I think I have like a hundred Koroks. Uh, I'm gonna check. <laughs> Let me log into the game. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know how it's going. I'll show you some funny clips and some experiences I had, some first thoughts I had when I encountered some specific locations. And I'm also gonna sprinkle in a few tips and tricks from what I think <laughs> so far from what I think. So I can start off with one trick, and that is when you see a burpee, the spectral rabbits, jump off a ledge and draw your bow, and then you get a few hits in. Let's see, let's load up my game. Another thing to remember is that sometimes you can get chests in an alternative way by attaching the chest to another object, which is kind of funny, but it doesn't work on all chests. Oh, I'm right now in Hateno village. <laughs> Hateno. Okay, I'm gonna show you from my album some funny moments. Okay, let's go. Uh, like, for example, here's a moment that gave me serious Super Mario Sunshine vibes. Uh, that's so satisfying. You can steer your flying birds by walking around on them. Maybe you didn't know that. Okay, so if you guys watched my first impression video, you pretty much got my first impression from the entire Sky Island, and then I dropped down below. And here's what I did immediately after I finished that video. The first thing I focused on was pinning all the locations of map towers, which was easy peasy, and now I had a plan. That was the first thing that I wanted to do, uncover the map, because I don't want to go around blind in Hyrule. And I am loving the new designs of the towers. You no longer have to climb the towers now, now you're shot up and you get a great vantage point. And also you should remember that time stands somewhat still while you are pinning down locations that you want to go to, which is kind of neat. This video is kindly sponsored by Timu.com. Timu is a marketplace where you can find just about anything for an affordable price. They have multiple categories and sales at up to 90% off. And Timu is right now having a special Nintendo Switch OLED campaign where you can actually save $100 on a Nintendo Switch OLED. You download the app, you get the coupon, you punch in my discount code, and you can get a Switch OLED for $254 instead of the usual price. Get the app, have a look around and see for yourself. 10 million plus downloads of Timo. There are tons of Switch accessories, like for example, this Switch game cartridge case. Highly recommend this one. There are several Nintendo Switch controllers, Joy-Con skins, Switch bags, Zelda themed carry cases. Who wouldn't want that? If you play a lot in handheld, the OLED Switch is a must. It is also worth checking out what they have, not only in the gaming category as a whole, but the other categories on there as well. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Here are some other things that I did in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm doing a few shrines and the puzzles are so clever. There are always several ways to clear shrines and I have found so many alternative ways. I I'm doing the shrines wrong, I'm pretty sure. Now here's one thing that I, I was like when I experienced this in the game. Wait, mute that. <laughs> I thought to myself, I have to talk about this. Uh, the feeling, actually, I'm the feeling. Okay, so this is a location spoiler, and it is involving something that is so... Uh... And you have probably been there already, so I mean... I didn't know about this place. No one knew about this place. This was the biggest secret ever. I fell down there, and I can show you on the map where I randomly fell down. The Rowan Plain well, there it is. Because I didn't jump down into them when I saw the big craters in the ground. I am loving the depths. Highlight gaming point top five event happening this year, gaming wise. Discovering this place, I mean, and collecting pose. So excited to see pose again. That is so green of time. Oh, and the brethren. The brethren locations. First thing I did when I discovered the depths, I collected all the pose. Not all the pose, <laughs> a ton of them. And then I, I knew where to go. So fun. Now here's another thing that I did. Uh, I'm not very good at fusing yet, but I can fuse a beehive on a stick and it actually shoots out bees if you hold your attack button. I'm messing around occasionally up in the sky with some Sonai devices. Are you guys into the Sonai devices? I still have to wrap my head around that. 
I'm too busy down in the depths, if you know what I mean. There are new enemies in the game, several actually, and that leads me to caves. Caves is a new thing, loving that. Going back to its old roots with that, caves is essential. So yeah, some new enemies, <laughs> including trees. What was they called? Ever mean? <laughs> Here, for example, is a beautiful construction that I did, that I felt very clever making, and it actually worked! <laughs> Look at that. Another thing is that if you guys ever played Breath of the Wild six years ago, you remember the importance of having stamina food on you at all times? I'm still like that, at all times, because sometimes you just need a bit more stamina. Since gliding places is a huge way to get places and discovering locations, using recall on fallen boulders is such a welcome addition in Tears of the Kingdom. I am loving the emergency shelter. I often return there to pray at the shrine, sleep, cook and get rumors from the newspaper. There's a newspaper in the game. Okay, so here's a fun side activity. Taking pictures of everything. When I unlocked my Hyrule companion, compendium, <laughs> not companion, this is what I did. I threw out everything that I had on the ground and took a picture of it. And I mean, weapons, materials, fruit, you name it. Fun pastime. Am I the only one that does this? I'm loving the camera features, like collecting that. And here is a clip of me when I noticed that the roots in the depths has a shrine just above it, with its name just reversed. Funny. And for the longest time I thought I always had to shoot the bright bloom seeds with an arrow. You don't have to do that. I discovered that you can actually just throw them and uh, save your arrows. Okay, so one of my biggest tips uh, is to make your own platforms, combining the ultra hand with uh, the recall ability. And you probably already know this though, but you can ultra hand your item a tiny bit, recall, stand on in, have, you have your platform. <laughs> Neighbor Stefan didn't know that when I told him the other day. But now he knows. The Rito Bridge with my mom. I actually brought my Switch over to my mom's place and she was watching me play actually this section of the game. And this made me think that Nintendo does it all the time. They make their games fun for family to watch. Even non-gamers can watch this. So we were building this bridge together and she was like, you gotta have it longer. And I'm like, no, this is long enough. You gotta have it longer. Also the fun factor of just jumping on ice. Okay, so here is a shrine that took me one hour to do. One hour, I kid you not. <laughs> I was very stubborn in this shrine. I tried having a platform with some sort of sticking down platforms on the rails and that sort of thing, maybe going over... I was thinking in the wrong way. You need to think outside the box for a moment. It was a whole thing, it was such a mess. One hour in this shrine. I finally did it though. I came across some pirates. Here I am building a raft with a steering wheel. I found a star fragment while jumping down from the sky. And here is a map of my progress so far. I still have a lot of shrines that I haven't done and I still, <laughs> I still hover my A over urch planes. Like I did in Breath of the Wild, Alawal. And another thing, don't forget to visit all the bridges in the game, because the names of the bridges, they don't show on the map unless you have crossed the bridge. I cross every bridge. So I guess my 70 hour mark impression of Tears of the Kingdom is, for one, it is actually very similar to Breath of the Wild, with some improvements. My favorite improvement being the Ascend ability, attaching things to my arrows, like bombs. The Ascend ability, no. Caves, actually. The depths, definitely. And the creativity of building things. I'm not good at building things, but looking at people that are good at building things. That's kind of funny, actually. Those are like the features that I think stands out. Also, I am liking the, the sky theme a bit more now. Now that I let it sink in a bit. Uh, I wish there were more sky islands. A bigger area of land up there. Because so far I feel like there are only like small sky islands. No actual big field up there if you know what I mean. I would like to see that. And uh, 
sound design is out of this world. Sound effects and music and stuff. I have unlocked three of the great fairies. I just got to Tarrytown. I've done none of the shrine temples, I mean. <laughs> Dungeons, temples, whatever. I've done none of them. I'm doing them lastly. Right now I'm just making my way into Gerudo because I like the heat. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Uh, collecting gear, so fun, so far. I wanna hear how far you are into it. How many hours do you have, is what I wanna see. Down in the comment section. <laughs> how many hours do you have? I'm not rushing the game, not at all. Do I recommend the game? Yeah, okay, just get it. There's no question about it, just get it. Because it's Zelda. The only way I would not recommend it is if you didn't like Breath of the Wild to begin with. If you played that one and you didn't like Breath of the Wild. Then it's a lot of the same stuff in this one. And if you played Breath of the Wild and never even got off the Great Plateau. I don't know what to say to you. I think you're missing out. <laughs> Join my Discord down below. Check out Timu, my link. And uh, thank you so much for watching today. Hit like on the video. <laughs> and I will see you later.